Welcome to our Healthy Food and Healthy Life channel. Today's topic is foods avoided for high blood pressure. High blood pressure, or hypertension, is called the silent killer for good reason. It often has no symptoms, but is a major risk for heart disease and stroke. Your blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury, which is abbreviated as MMHG. There are two numbers involved in the measurement. Systolic blood pressure. The top number represents the pressure in your blood vessels when your heart beats. Diastolic blood pressure. The bottom number represents the pressure in your blood vessels between beats, when your heart is resting. Your blood pressure depends on how much blood your heart is pumping, and how much resistance there is to blood flow in your arteries. The narrower your arteries, the higher your blood pressure. Blood pressure lower than 120-80 mmHg is considered normal. Blood pressure that's 130-80 mmHg or more is considered high. If your numbers are above normal but under 130-80 mmHg, you fall into the category of elevated blood pressure. This means that you are at risk for developing high blood pressure. Diet can have a big impact on your blood pressure. This video looks at what foods to avoid if you have high blood pressure. Salt or sodium. Salt or specifically the sodium in salt, is to increase blood pressure. Table salt is around 40% sodium. Getting no more than 2,300 mg of sodium the equivalent of 1 teaspoon of salt each day. High sodium comes from packaged, processed food rather than what you add at the table. Sodium may be hidden in unexpected foods. The following foods, are major contributors to people's daily salt intake. Breads and rolls. Pizza or frozen pizza. Sandwiches. Biscuits. Salted nuts and seeds. Instant soups. Canned soups. Canned tomato products. Most canned tomato sauces, pasta sauces, and tomato juices are high in sodium. This means that they can cause raise your blood pressure, especially if you already have high blood pressure. Pickles. Papads, chips, dry fish or meats, cold cuts and cured meats, deli meat, sausages, hot dogs. To lower the sodium in your diet, try these suggestions. Read the nutritional facts label on every food package. Select foods that have 5% or less of the daily value of sodium. Avoid foods that have 20% or more daily value of sodium. Avoid canned foods, processed foods, lunch meats, and fast foods, packed food items. These contains high salt added because to improve the shelf life of the packed food products. Use salt-free seasonings. Sugar. Sugar can increase your blood pressure in several ways. Added sugar may also have a direct effect on increasing blood pressure. Refined carbohydrates. Refined carbohydrates can help you lose weight and lower your blood pressure. Reduce saturated fats and avoid trans fats. Trans fats are artificial fats that increase packaged foods shelf life and stability. Packaged, pre-prepared foods often contain trans fats and saturated fats, alongside high amounts of sugar, sodium, and low fiber carbohydrates. Saturated fats are mostly found in animal products, including Full fat milk and cream. Butter or ghee. Red meat. Chicken skin. Consider cutting back on caffeine. Caffeine raises your blood pressure, but the effect is temporary. It lasts 45 to 60 minutes and the reaction varies from individual to individual. Some people may be more sensitive to caffeine than others. If you're caffeine sensitive, you may want to cut back on your coffee consumption or try decaffeinated coffee. Alcohol. Drinking too much alcohol can increase your blood pressure. In people who do not have hypertension, limiting alcohol intake can help reduce their risk of developing high blood pressure. Alcohol can also prevent any blood pressure medications that you may be taking from working effectively through drug interactions. In addition, many alcoholic drinks are high in sugar and calories. Drinking alcohol can contribute to overweight and obesity, which can increase the risk of hypertension. Stop smoking. 
Stopping smoking is good for your all-around health. Smoking causes an immediate but temporary increase in your blood pressure and an increase in your heart rate. In the long term, the chemicals in tobacco can increase your blood pressure by damaging your blood vessel walls, causing inflammation, and narrowing your arteries. The hardened arteries cause higher blood pressure. The chemicals in tobacco can affect your blood vessels even if you're around secondhand smoke. Reduce excess stress. We live in stressful times. Finding ways to reduce your own stress is important for your health and your blood pressure. There are lots of different ways to successfully relieve stress, so find what works for you. Practice deep breathing, take a walk, read a book, or watch a comedy. Our next video is about foods included in lifestyle changes for lowering high blood pressure. For more updates and health related videos, click the subscribe button, share, and comment our videos.